Hello. If you're considering um, who to vote for in the 10th Congressional District race, uh, which is happening September 1st, um, the candidates are um, John Garamendi, um, Ms. Buchanan, and Mr. Desaulnier. Uh, and then there's a young Marine with very little political background whose name eludes me at the moment. <clears throat> and when um, selecting a, um, a person for office, obviously you want to look at who is the most qualified uh, if the views are similar. Um, and clearly, John Garamendi has a uh, extensive and complete background, which neither of the other two candidates have. He's worked as the interior, uh, Deputy Secretary of the Interior under Clinton. He's endorsed by Clinton and Gore. Um, he uh, was in the Peace Corps in Africa, returned to Africa to help negotiate a ceasefire uh, in Eritrea. Uh, and um, sending somebody to the House, it's important that they have a context internationally and uh, domestically on the grand scale. And he's been serving and working uh, in California politics since the early 80s. He did a great job as insurance commissioner. Uh, he um, really held the insurance company's feet to the fire, and that was how I got to uh, uh, know him, just through reading the Chronicle as a uh, young man in San Francisco and, and seeing uh, all of the uh, work he did to uh, really hold those companies' feet to the fire. Uh, yet, even after all that has happened and his two terms as a commissioner, I don't think there's any lack of respect or uh, bad blood for him in doing that. So uh, he wants uh, business and uh, the uh, private individual to both be successful. So uh, I, uh, I highly recommend you vote for uh, Lieutenant Governor Garamendi for the 10th Congressional District. Uh, he's supremely qualified, and California needs uh, somebody strong in Washington to advocate for it right now because we are in a uh, apocalyptic condition. Uh, and uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor Garamendi knows what California can do uh, because we've done it. Uh, under Ed Brown, Edmund Brown, California built the best infrastructure and educational system in the world, and uh, hopefully we can do it again. Thank you.